Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today a very good video about 9 classic accessories to elevate your look. This video is for you if you don't have much at home or you're on a budget or you're minimalist but it's still important for you to look chic and elegant then this video is for you. Hello, my name is Frédéric. Welcome to my channel. I talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle with a French twist. And this channel is especially for women over 40. So you are so welcome. And like all you newbies, I'm asking you please to subscribe. Click, 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 click. Just with one click means a lot for me. We really appreciate to all of you, my girls. Give me a big thumbs up and let me know in comment what is your tip, what is your accessory that make you look or feel elevated straight away. So before I'm starting, I just want to show you some items that I'm showing you it doesn't have to be those brands, but I do believe sometimes to invest in a piece of classic item will never go wrong, will never go out of style. For example, my number one choice is a leather belt. I don't have many of them. I'm not insane and crazy in love with a bad belt, but I do love having a good, nice black leather belt, um, something in tan colors. And obviously my, my favorite is from Hermes. It's a reversible one. So one side is more like a camel, a tan colors. The other one is red. I don't wear it as much as that I used to, but it's definitely a belt that's gonna stay in my wardrobe forever and ever. So to me, it's really worth it to invest in a very good belt. If you don't like brands, if you don't have a budget, don't you worry about it. Just wear a nice leather belt, but it has to be spotless, ladies. Number two, I do believe a pair of flat ballet always are, look always classic. You can mix them with a long dress, long skirt. Um, I love rolling my jeans around the ankles to show a little bit of ankles. You can wear them with absolutely everything. Can be a summer shoes, winter, mid-season, you get the point. Maybe not winter. Well, depends where you live for winter. One of my favorite, because again, this is the type of colors that I really love and mixing with each other, I will go for a black one. And as well, the my newbies that they from Zara, Oh my gosh, I fight it to get them because they sold out so quickly. If you are more into colors, yes, it's the moment to wear colors, especially on your feet. But I do believe at home, if you can try to get the leather one, they're better quality, they're more durable. But I really do believe that the pair of classic shoes you should have in your wardrobe. I always talk about it in my videos and I'm always referring to my Amazon shop by the way because I got all those categories for you. Accessories, belt, hat, and bag. A structure handbag. One of my favorite that I work and save for years and years is my Hermes Birkin bag. Um, this bag, I don't wear it as much as I used to because we're in lockdown and I don't meet clients anymore with my work, but it's still my favorite bag. If you obviously, like I said again, because I don't want to see your comments, I know when it's going to come. Um, Always try to pick a structure bag over a slouchy bag. The structure bag always gonna give you a structure to your outfit as well. Um, if you can, try to get a few in different colors, but definitely, again, my personal opinion, but you can't go wrong with a nice black leather a bag. If you don't like leather, you can go with vegan. I love vegan leather, but I know the real leather will last much longer. And if you want to invest a bit of money, and I will go with everything, but a structure bag will definitely elevate any type of outfit. So if you don't have at home a structure handbag, please put that on your wish list. In terms of jewelry, I think you will look much more stylish and you're definitely gonna elevate your look if you try to stick to minimalist um, jewelry. So it doesn't have to be the same as me, but for example, I do not wear gold. I think it's beautiful on some women. It just does, it doesn't go with my skin tone and everything. It just, I don't like it. All right, period. <laughs> 
but I love white gold and I love silver sterling. So even if you wear like nice little studs or it can be my favorite are white gold, diamonds and pearls. Pearls and diamonds ladies, oh yeah. But if you like something different like you into gold or wearing different chain, no more than three if you can, go for it. But I do believe very nice, fine, jewelry it's so much classier and especially if you have a unique piece that's definitely gonna make you look different from the crowd so in terms of heels you cannot go wrong when you have one pair of nude and one pair of black heels you don't have to be super super high heels but i think those two colors will mix with everything obviously you're gonna tell me i'm not into heels or maybe you can do and heels of just flat same with the flat if you don't have that um, oh by the way if you want to have more access to mood boards because I create a lot follow me on Pinterest it's the same handle as Instagram it's MS Frederick because you can see I have a few wish lists for this spring summer right now it's more to linen I'm like I don't know what's going on with me and linen and silk I'm like obsessed but I'm always doing some mood board because I know exactly what is inside of my wardrobe and I want to be sure that if I buy one item it's going to go with everything. So for those shoes I know if I, because I mainly wear earthy neutral colors and black. The other way it's super easy to elevate any type of outfit and it doesn't have to be even on you is a silk scarf. Of course you can have in polyester, I got a few in polyester, but you know it's not the same feeling, but a silk one, you can put in your hair, you can put around your uh, bag, which I do a lot with my twillies or even some scarf, just to look a bit different and then I love having something on my bag, or you can wear obviously like a scarf like everybody's doing around your neck. But I think a scarf with a, the right colors and even if you wear something very simple, let's say like a black tee and a black uh, jeans, they will definitely make you look elevated. Sometimes even, I do that less and less, but I used to do that for a very long time. It's rolling in a very, very long belt and using as a belt. I love wearing sunglasses, but I don't have a lot of sunglasses. Actually, I have only three pairs one a bit more original for the videos but the two other ones they come from the reading glasses that I'm showing all the time that you love so much I have four different pairs of them and they form I think they're Chinese brand they form Oscar Wiley which is very popular in Australia they shops everywhere and I bought my sunnies the same and I, I can even buy two pairs of sunnies which is obviously tested they protect you from UVs and UVAs um, for $200 so I like again it's like for the shoes but again it's personal but for me this formula always works I like this black one so I like the black cat one and I like as well the tortoise I don't know it always works for me I think those two different distinctive colors always elevate any outfit so next time you want to ask me a question about my sunnies double check but it's Oscar Welly this is not sponsored video I'm just sharing what I love and what you think sometimes it's it's gonna help you to look a bit elevated doesn't have to be the same brand as well the other one is a classic watch oh you cannot go wrong with a classic watch I wear less and less watches because now we use the phone or now people have the Apple watch which I do believe is a very ugly watch but it's a computer cannot be smaller not for the moment we will see in a few years but I think a classic watch at the end is still gonna elevate any any type of fit it doesn't matter the brand it doesn't matter the color for me will be obviously more like a steel uh, silver color I never had a gold watch oh that's so not for me but I think a watch just this is even if it's the only piece of jewelry you're wearing this is the best I'm talking too much but I'm so passionate about that because I'm just trying to tell you with this video you don't need much sometime to look classy really really it's so simple another way to be elevated is to wear a hat or a cap or even a straw hat. I don't want to show you all my hats, but I love wearing hats. Um, this one is from H&M, by the way, and a little bit too small for my head, despite measurement, but I still love it. A hat will always work in your favor, ladies. And 
the nine prompts is to have a classic ring statement so it doesn't have to be it can be your wedding band it can be an engagement ring or it can be a ring that you bought for yourself this is my favorite so i got a couple of rings that i really 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 love some are, co are coming from a uh, my favorite designer is george jensen from denmark but as well i have a couple of brands from australia and i just love or even wearing one ring on my hands but it will be on this finger the index finger because i think it looks a bit different and i work a lot on computers so i don't need i can't have a lot of rings they just annoy me when the mass is just click 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 just click 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 does it remind you something subscribe <laughs> what a great transition i'm gonna get killed again <laughs> Please let me know in comment what is your accessory, what is your tip makes you feel or look elevated. Even if you like dress them something very simple, please let me know in comment. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. See you to the next video. Ciao, ciao.